Thursday, September the 23rd. It's roughly uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. I, uh, I'm running to Home Depot to get a half inch cap. I had, uh, I had some three quarter ones. I really thought I had a half inch, but I don't. I'm cutting the, uh, the frost free off the side of the house and uh, so I can pull the, what's it called? All the bad siding and the sheeting underneath so I can pull it all off. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get all that ready and see exactly what I got going on underneath there. Why all my siding is popping off the house Anyway, today, I got to say that today I am extremely, extremely grateful for chances. Like, extremely grateful for chances. Um, I believe I messed up in a few ways and in a few ways I let myself down um, and uh, you know I had warning signs now that I think back on it I didn't pick up on it at the time if I did I over I just overlooked it but uh, yeah I uh, kind of messed up. I'll get into that in a second. Second, today I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my life. And I'm grateful for the, the trials. And lastly, I am grateful and thankful For forgiveness for myself and from others um, so yeah so Cassie the other day yesterday no day before yesterday's so Tuesday just popped up at the house and we did talk about going to lunch and doing something. And, uh, you know, I had said maybe. And then I had worked at night. And, you know, I could have been sleeping, honestly. But anyway, she came over. And I... At first, I was a little annoyed because... I was doing my morning routine and, you know, I had just woken up, but anyway, I, I, I was like, whatever, you know, we'll do lunch and we'll talk, whatever. So then, anyway, lunch came and went and, you know, I gave in to something that I necessarily, I shouldn't. I wasn't thinking with my right mind. I, I was thinking, I was thinking something else. And, uh, you know, I'm really, I let myself down. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to, it's just, I, I, I let myself down, plain and simple. So now I'm thinking along the lines of, you know, I don't want to end up in the same position that I've been in before. And I don't want to have some of the same things happen that happened before. So anyway, I was going through a uh, Bible studies for men on the uh, Right Now Media app 
and I stumbled across something that was screaming at me to, to watch it and it spoke a lot about Samson and his trials and what he went through and what he did and how God responded and what ultimately happened and you know I couldn't help but just think about myself and the current situation I'm in and uh, you know I felt like that was God speaking to me Just like Samson, I pride and lustful urges and wants have been a major issue in my life right now. I, you know, was spending money stupidly, buying things that I necessarily didn't need, you know, so I was giving into my wants. I mean, said the, the welder, I might still go and return. Like, I really don't know if I'm going to keep it. But, uh... So, yeah, like... Wants and needs, I, I... I don't know. Like, I, I messed up on it. And, you know, the, the lust, I gave in to the lust. And, you know, I, I did something that I'm not necessarily too proud of. But I'm only human. And, you know, I know that this is just part of the process. And, you know, God is a loving God. And he, he forgives. And, uh, you know, I, I found myself thinking a lot about Mary now. And, you know... A lot about that situation. I, I, I feel like I I don't know what's up with her like I really want to and should fucking go check up on her like I, I really should I just I don't know why the hell I haven't probably because it's so freaking far away but if I'm off tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow morning I gotta stop making excuses and I gotta I gotta man up, and I, I, there's a lot that I gotta do. But anyway, I'm going to CR tonight, and uh, it's gonna be a great night. It's gonna be a great meeting. I know it. I got over the the social anxiety, the the first hurdle by getting my tail back into church. Now I'm gonna start getting myself back into meetings, and uh, you know I know that God has chosen me. I know he, he handpicked me to do something and I just have to stop being a freaking idiot and I have to start start doing more of what I learned I need to create my network I'm, I'm ready for the network and I'm ready to be the man that I know I am and I know that I was created to be like, I'm ready for it. And, you know, something, something stupid. Giving in to something I shouldn't have given into. You know, it's just weird because I, I, it felt, the whole time I was down in Fayetteville and stuff, you know, it kind of sort of, it felt right. But at the same time, it didn't because nothing was working out and everything was a problem. Everything was a fight. And, you know, it, it just, I, I don't know. I, it, it's hard to describe. But anyway, I, I have to look with, with inside myself and ask myself, you know, what is the right thing for me to do? How do I fix this? And, you know, if I need forgiveness from Mary and stuff, like, I, I need to go and ask for it. And I need to, you know, because nothing's set in st stone. Like, there, there's no, this is this, and that's what it is. Like, there, there's no... 
There's nothing there. Like, we haven't even spoken to each other in two weeks. More. But that's all the more reason why I should have gone to go look at. Look. Make sure she's all right. But anyway, as far as this Cassie thing goes, um, I've forgiven myself. I'm pretty sure God's forgiven me. And I'm just, I'm ready to move on. And I need to pull the lessons out of this. And I need to stop acting like a little boy and be the man that God knows I am and that he created me to be. It's time to stop acting and reacting off my emotions and my desires and use my head because I, my emotions and my desires get me in trouble. And after, you know, I felt, I, I, I ate, freaking half a cheesecake half a tub of ice cream and I went to sleep and part of the time I wasn't even sleeping I just I was just laying there because I, I was depressed because I let myself down so anyway God thank you for this day and please understand and know that I am only human and I know that you know that and uh, please forgive me for any and all wrong that I've done. Um, I thank you, God, so much for this day and everybody in it. Lord, please watch over and keep safe my family and everybody I love and care about. Lord, I ask for your guidance, your blessing and wisdom in this current situation that I'm dealing with. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But I do want to repent. I do want to fix this. And I do want to turn and become the person that you created me to be. Thank you, Lord, so much again for this day and everybody in it. I know that this is a gift, and I know that I know that good things are to come. Thank you, Lord, so much again for everything. Please watch over everybody I love and care about. I ask and I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.